everybody welcome back to my channel my name is vivian i'm sitting on this channel i talk about everything not in lifestyle motherhood beauty and all that good stuff today i'm going to be sharing sharing with you what you can do to keep safe during this period of corona in the environment and what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones and your family for being affected and being safe in this season seriously and ensuring that nothing of such comes to you and even if it does come around what you can do to keep yourself healthy as you all know this Rona situation is rising it's on the rise it's identified it's killing people people especially who are old with comorbidities and people even the elderly ones are also being affected it's no respect of persons as we already know every conspiracy theory about this has already been disputed because it's already spread beyond what people have even expected what are you doing to protect yourself and your family from this problem how should you be having yourself in this season and ensuring that you're doing the right things for yourself and for your family that's what i'll be talking about in this video one ensure you're practicing adequate hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene not just hand hygiene respiratory hygiene ensure you're practicing adequate respiratory hygiene respiratory hygiene i mean in the sense if you have a cough a kata or you are sneezing ensure you are practicing adequate hygiene sneeze into your elbow and not into your hands sneeze into your elbow and if you must sneeze into a tissue dispose immediately into the bin and empty that trash out of your house trust me you don't want to keep it lying around in your house because the virus can thrive on surfaces and you can touch it and the droplets and it goes straight your human to human contacts um, exposures and infections have been reported it is too droplet spread so respiratory hygiene cough and sneeze into your elbow into a handkerchief and tray away and wash your hands wash your hands adequately using the appropriate steps of hand hygiene as recommended by WHO palm to palm back of your palm fingers interlace wrist your air wrist and your wrist wash your hands at least for 30 seconds if you're using a sanitizer also clean your hands with sanitizers for at least 30 seconds ensuring you are touching the areas that can easily be missed when you do your hand hygiene which are areas in this area your hand this part of your hands are places that are usually missed when people wash their hands so pay particular attention to these areas when you wash your hands so you know you are not just doing hand washing and not doing appropriately and still spreading the virus. Ensure that you're eating appropriately. More important to preventing this for yourself from catching it is how well you are immune and how well you have immunity against infectious disease. How well is your immunity? Eat fruits and vegetables. Eat proteins. Eat, eat healthily. As a matter of fact, eat good food. Because one thing that's going to be your strongest point and your strongest points in fighting the virus if you ever get infected is how well your immunity is are you well immune are you healthy are you prone to being infected are you with comorbidities and you are prone to having infections eat well drink adequate water flush your system eat properly if you have supplements that you can take take them and let your body be ready to fight and resist anything that will come your way this season have an adequate immunity eat drink yeah. appropriate water hydrate yourself as a matter of fact a symptom of this infection is fever and fever does what dehydrates you affects your kidneys leads you to acute kidney injuries and then it spirals like that and not goes on and on what do you want to do for yourself hydrate yourself such that your body is able to maintain the normal osmolarity and perfusions of oxygen and blood through your tissues drink adequate water so your kidney is functioning appropriately for you drink adequate water so your liver is working to the optimum to destroy every toxin out of your system drink adequate water next point about this is that you should listen to your local authority and your government on what measures you should take if you're living in the external world listen to the updates about this virus every day listen to the news watch what is happening and listen to what's been said on the news we've heard that people should not take ibuprofen when they are ill because it predisposes them to or worsens the symptom of this problem so 
instead of ibuprofen, take paracetamol. Paracetamol is going to do you well. Listen to what is the up-to-date information about this Rona situation. Do not stay uninformed. Our people say he that asks this question does not get lost. Even the holy book says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Seek information and find information. Find information and make good use of the information that you find to help yourself and your loved and ones. Please and please in this season avoid lad gadgets. If you're a Christian, I'm sorry, even churches in the UK and all over the world are already improvising how to do their gatherings to online gatherings. What, why can't you do the same? There are lots of Christianity programs that go on online. You don't have to be present in the church. I mean, the Bible says that um, the people that call my name will serve me in spirit and the truth. That is what true worship is now. You don't have to be present there to, to get your closeness with God. In this period, keep your distance. Stay at home and do your worship. In this period, pray as a Muslim at home. Don't go and expose yourself and your family and your loved ones because you went to the church. In this period, as much as possible, reduce your market visits. Go to the market once and get what you want. If you can't keep your distance when buying things. When you, when you buy the things that you need in the market, wipe them down with disinfectants and sanitizers. Wash your fruits and vegetables with water and salt. Wash them appropriately because you don't know who has touched them or how they have been handled. Especially at home where we know things are even sold on the floor and the ground. How much more in this period? Wash them with water. Wash them with salt and water. Don't take things for granted. Cook your food appropriately. Cook your food appropriately. So at least the heat has killed some of these things off the food. What else can you do? Spread the message of what is happening. Spread the message to your friends and your families. Spread the message to even your enemies. Trust me, if you don't spread the message to your enemy, your enemy will end up spreading it to you. Spread the message to your enemy. Spread the enemy. The message to your friends, your family, your loved ones, your extended families, even those in the villages. And if you have friends who are coming in from outside of the country, can you please ask them to do their 14 days isolation? That way, if they have picked up anything, it's going to show and they will not end up spreading it to you. What you want from them is good news and goodies and the money and not sickness. So trust me, you want to be the one championing them to keep themselves in their houses for 14 days before they begin to visit people. Tell people who have just recently traveled and come back from outside of the country to please ensure they have kept themselves for 14 days. 14 days can be a long time, but it is enough to make a whole lot of difference. Do the right thing by people. Spread a message and not fear. Wash your hands and especially in Africa, take care and look out for yourself. Trust me, you want to begin to do that because the government is not going to do anything for you. I'm not saying the government is not doing their best, but you know what I'm talking about. Do your best to protect yourself from getting it. Do yourself well to eat properly. Do yourself well to keep yourself indoors and avoid gatherings. Do yourself the best you can to wipe off surfaces. Do yourself the best to look out for symptoms on people and prompt them to go and get themselves checked out. If your friend, your neighbor tells you, I have a cough, I have a sneeze, I have a fever, the next question you should ask them is, have you been to the hospital? If they tell you no, tell them to go to the hospital. If they tell you they've had taken medications and they've taken malaria medicines, tell them it could be something else. Go to the hospital so it can be ruled out. Ruled out. There has been news that chloroquine may be able to treat this thing. It is not confirmed yet. So go to the hospital and get checked out. My fellow health practitioners out there in Nigeria, in Africa, doing your best. My heart goes out to you all. God bless you for what you do. Keep doing what you do and keep your eyes open to salient things that patients present with and take for granted and just raise it up so they can be tested and then we can save ourselves this hassle and this whole Rona situation from going beyond what it should be in Nigeria because we don't want to get into that situation. As much as we are the most populated country, we do not want this Rona situation to be what is going to cause us a lot of trouble. In the 1880s or the 1980s, 
in Philadelphia in USA, there was a pandemic. It was a this troop by soldiers, you know, when the soldiers gather and go around the city and whatever. It was a big gathering and this pandemic was going on and they did not heed to the voice of reason. They did not heed to the voice of warning and they went ahead in that program. And trust me, that pandemic led, it's the worst pandemic in history. It killed millions of people in Philadelphia. Now in USA, we do not want that to reoccur again, even in Nigeria or in Africa, where we have, we are the largest populated country. What we want to do is to curtail this. If you have any concert, please cancel it. If you have any concert, even if it is not canceled, please do not go. If there are any large gatherings, birthdays, weddings, anything, I don't care what it is. If you can't postpone your wedding, please postpone it. If you can postpone any social garden, please postpone it. That is you being safe. That is you being proactive. You don't want people to come to your garden and then go home sick or you become sick yourself. You don't want to be the reason why this corona situation has become worse in the country. Please let us be responsible and accountable and be forward thinking about what can happen and try to do all that is in our power and our best to prevent it that's all we're asking all that is in your power and your best to prevent it from spreading and happening and becoming worse and as you do this from the very littlest things that you do to the larger thing that the government is going to do then bringing all those together we then know we are doing our best to fight this runner situation Please and please, let's hear the word of reason. Let's not get ourselves into a lot of trouble. Trust me, that's not where we want to be right now. It's upon us already. What we can do is to stay safe, act safe, be smart, and look out for information. And I trust God to help us in this situation. I trust the universe to also even take care of itself. Above all, stay safe. I love you all as always. Spread the news and not panic and not fear. Do what you should do. Be the best you can be. Even to my fellow nurses who are already planning to come over to the UK and their, their, their plans have been disrupted because of this. For those who could still go ahead, congratulations to you. For those whose plans have been disrupted in one way or the other, trust me, it's better safe than sorry. And when this all dies down, everything goes back to normal. Trust me. Let's just go through this phase first. And let it always be fine. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, a thumbs up, and do share and subscribe. If this is your first time or coming across this channel, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for all you love. And recently we did hit the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for all your love. I do appreciate you all for what you do. Thank you as always. I love you as always. And I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.